Hey guys, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to share with you how to use your Cricut Stencil Vinyl. I'm going to be using my Joy, but you can use this on any one of your machines. So I'm making a project for my husband and I, and it's our date night box slash bag. And I'll tell you all about it as we design. So the first thing we got to do is go into Cricut Design Space. And this is where um, you create everything that you make on your Cricut. You bring your SVG files here. You download anything that you want to make into an SVG into this program. And this is what you use. It's absolutely free from Cricut. Or if you want to be an Access member, you um, pay a small monthly fee and then you get all of these free things. So everything you see with a green square in the upper left hand corner, it has an A in it. That means if you're an Access member, you do not have to pay for that. So I was with somebody and they were, they kept saying about there was a charge for something and I'm like, I don't understand what you mean. And here I figured out as an access, if you're not an Access member, a price is down at the bottom instead of the word subscribed. So if you're if you're only seeing the sub, if you're only seeing a price, then you are not an access member. So if you need information on that, I can definitely get it to you. Um, join the Facebook page, and that's where I kind of put a bunch of links. But I'll also have links in the video. Um, everything I show you guys is mine. I did not um, receive it for you know to review. This is my items that I'm sharing today. So all the opinions are my own. I'm only going to tell you good things if I think good things. So moving on. What I did was I typed in date night as in the search bar and I'm looking for something that I can put on that little wooden box which you saw at the beginning and I want something that I have to knock out the insides so that I can make a stencil. There's a bunch of different ways you can make stencils and I'm going to be posting other ideas on my Facebook page. But for today, I'm just showing you how to um, make this project. So I decided on the second one in, which is like the silhouette of the man and woman sitting at a table eating. I thought that was cute, but we need to take the top off. So I don't want it to come out as a tag. I want it to be just a square or a semi rectangle. So we have to do some slicing. And what slicing is, it's down at the bottom right you'll see some icons and ones like slice, weld, attach. I'm going to be doing videos on them to teach you guys what all of those are for. So today we'll just quickly go over the slice button. So the first thing you want to do when you're slicing something is you need to pick a um, shape. So I'm picking a rectangle and I'm just going to pull it down to where I want to cut off. So basically slicing is just cutting. So you, I decided this is how far down I want to cut. You're going to highlight both items. So you could click select all. You can go down to slice and click slice. And then you're going to pull all of the unwanted pieces away. And once you pull them away, you can highlight them all and delete them. One thing to remember is you can only slice two items at a time. You can't have different layers on top and try to slice something. It won't work. You can only slice with two layers. So now that we have the design we want and the top's cut off, I'm ready to do the sizing. So we've already been over other videos where sizing, you go up into your menu bar and you can type in um, what size you want or you can stretch it out with the little diagonal arrows. I think sometimes it's easier to just go up and type in the number automatically. That way there you're not guessing if you've pulled it out far enough or not. So now that it's sized three by three, we're ready to just go in and make sure that it looks the way we want it to. So I'm going to zoom in and all you have to do is go to the bottom left and it'll let you zoom in. And then this is how cute it is. Isn't it cute? Now it does have little tiny thin lines but I'm confident in my machine that it's going to cut those nicely and it's going to look really pretty. So now we're ready to go to our machine. So at this point, if you have an Explore Air 2, you would take your dial and you would turn it to custom. I'm going to use the Cricut Joy just because it's on my desk and it's easier to show you guys um, in the videos how to use them. So I'm going to pick my mat because that's what I'm going to be cutting on and then we're going to pick what we're actually cutting. 
So with custom on your Explorer 2, it'll give you options and it'll say like, what are you cutting? So then you're going to pull up the exactly what you're using. So what you're going to do is look for vinyl. That's going to be the heading. Your bold word is vinyl. And then you're going to look for stencil vinyl. Mine's at the bottom for the joy. All you have to do is click on that and it knows what you want to cut. I do love having the um, Explore Air 2 for this because I can kind of customize mine of sometimes I feel like my particular machine cuts stencil vinyl better if I use paper but not always so it's kind of like you have to play with your machine but if you're just starting out I advise you to just use this setting and then you have up here you have the option to default light pressure or um, more pressure. I'm just leaving it on default because the um, Cricut Joy does a really good job at cutting. So now I'm going to cut my vinyl. So here's what it looks like in the store when you go. This is the packaging it comes in. It looks like the transfer paper um, except the backing is blue. So that's how you're going to tell the difference if you're not like really paying attention. Um, I have trouble seeing so when I go in the store I just I always like to know exactly what I'm looking for before I get there so I'm focused on that versus trying to read all of the the little tags and signs and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and cut this at three and a quarter by three and a quarter because we want a little bit left over and if you don't have one of these cutting trimmers um, I suggest like you get one because these are really helpful when you're cutting a lot of vinyl and things like that and you you don't waste as much vinyl if you use a paper trimmer in my opinion. Um, Cricut's is really nice. Uh, I've talked about it in other videos. Uh, the arm is kind of heavy but that's good I guess. Um, but it does do a great job on cutting so I would suggest this one. Joanne has it on sale right now. I put a link on my Facebook page I think today for you guys to go check out um, what they have on sale and yeah so I would definitely invest in one of those okay so now you're going to put it on your mat and just press down if you have a brayer you can use that as well I have one I don't always use it I actually I rarely ever use it but um, it is an option to use a brayer is just like a rolly thing that you you push on it so now my Cricut is, my little Joy is blinking. So we know from the past that when my Joy is blinking, it means you need to do something. So we're going to insert the mat underneath the two guides and it's going to pull it through just to make sure that you have enough um, vinyl on your mat and that your mat is straight. And then on my machine, I can click go. If you're using an Explore Air 2, you would just manually load your mat and then you would click the uh, green Cricut button. So we're going to be making this little box bag, like I said, and it's really cute. I'm excited about it because I'm going to be using it for like a Valentine's Day gift. And I think I show you something else next, but maybe not. But anyways, I got this at, I believe, Michael's back in their like little wood section. And I want, should have painted it white, but I, I was like, no, it'll work for what I want to do. Because I wanted to do like a shadowing with a navy blue color. And I wanted to make it look like dark and just have that in the center shading all around it. And then maybe a, a white background would have been better. But it still turned out really cute. So now I have this paper down. And it's from um, Stampin' Up. I... I've just had it for so long and I'm trying to use up everything in my craft room so I pulled it out and I'm using it just to protect my table but you could use like throwaway um, placemats or anything like that just to keep everything nice and clean and now we are done cutting and I'm just gonna put CJ's little hat back on and we're gonna weed so now the important thing about weeding when you're doing a stencil is you're gonna weed out the inside um, normally when you weed you get rid of everything on the outside so all of the parts you do not want but when you're using the stencil vinyl you need to weed the inside out so we have to pull out like their bodies the table and I think that's it in the backs of the chairs so again they're little tiny pieces and you can take it as slow as you want like just pull it up it does it's not sticky like um, permanent vinyl or even removable vinyl. It has a different type of stickiness because you can reuse this. So say you're making a design for your 
your wall and you want to do a border on your wall, you can make this and just keep reusing it. You just wipe it off when you're done. So here I'm just pulling out the rest of the pieces, so like the little legs, and then I think it's just the back of her chair and the rest of her, and then the table peels up all in one. So it does weed very nicely, and I've sold a lot of this. Um, I have sold for uh, woodworking, for canvas, and I forget what else I sold it for, but people use this a lot and it's it's a good material I haven't found anything in its place that I I would like to use like thinking is there like an off-brand of stencil vinyl there might be but I haven't found anything that I particularly would use I think the price on this is really good I think it's like either $5.99 or $7.99 at Michaels so it's really worth getting the good quality stuff versus you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm not going to look for another brand if this one's working really well for me. So now we have to peel it off. And this one has, again, tiny pieces. So we're going to take our time and just kind of peel everything away. But it's, it's still sturdy enough that it's not going to tear off or anything like that. And then we're just going to lay it down onto our little Valentine's box. Slush bag is what I'm calling it. It's a box slush bag. And if you're just doing names or something, it's so much easier. There were a lot of little tiny pieces in this one. So I was worried about laying this down because of the little pieces, but it turned out really nice. Like it went down pretty easily. So I just lined it up at the bottom of about where I wanted it. And then I'm just looking to make sure it's as straight as I think it should be. And... I like where it's at so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to press all of it down. So it did lay down really nice and flat and all of the pieces went where they were supposed to. So that's good. And now I'm going to show you different tools you can use to put your paint on it with. Okay so I would not suggest a paintbrush for this. I would definitely suggest some sort of dauber. Um, you can get different ones um, at different craft stores. I prefer to use um, the ink ones, but this is a dauber from, I think, Michaels. We got them in a bag. I don't like these ones because they leave too many holes. You know what I mean? Like the spongy look. I don't really like that look, but you could use that. I like these because they're Velcro and you can replace them really simply. And they're just ink daubers, but I like them for paint. I've used them for years now and they still look brand new because you just wash the bottoms off when you're done and you can reuse them. You just let them dry and reuse them. You can get the refills on the on the little dauber parts at Michaels and they're really inexpensive and I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. I will link whatever I can find the best prices below and if you have any questions on them you can head over to the Facebook page or comment down below. And so I'm going to use this pretty blue. It kind of goes with my craft room. And this will probably be sitting out here anyway, so I thought it would look nice. So this paint my daughter got from Amazon. Um, I don't know if I like the quality per se, but the color was really pretty. So I'll let you know how it holds up. It looks nice when I put it on. I just, um, the consistency was weird to me. Okay, so now when you use the daubers, you just press it down in. And I got this little little ink thing at um, the Dollar Tree. So I just press it down in to get it fully covered with paint and then I tap it in the center to make it even. And then you're just gonna pounce. You're gonna go up, down, up, down. You're not gonna go side to side until you're doing, um, till the stencil is completely taken off. Now at this time, bef actually before you start painting, if you don't want any paint anywhere else, go ahead and tape it off. So tape it so that no paint will get on the side, like come over the stencil itself. I don't care, like for me, it didn't matter this time because I was doing shading in the same color all the way around it. So it's that simple, like you just do that and then you can peel it up. So make sure you're fully, you have full coverage on it and you're just going to peel your stencil and it looks so pretty. Now, you don't need to throw that stencil out. See, I did get some off of it, but it's not a big deal because of the design I'm doing. But you might not want that to happen, so you would just put painter's tape around it and then you just peel it up. 
So now you can just take a paper towel and wipe that off completely or you can rinse it under some water. So I'm not going to reuse mine but I just wanted to show you that you can wipe them off and reuse them. So I'm pretty sure I just throw this one away. Yes I do. Okay so now that it's thrown away I'm going to go around and make the shading. So I kind of have like this um, thought of making it look like you're looking out a window or or something. I just kind of want that that hazy look around it and this is where I kind of wish I would have painted it white first because I think it would have stood out a little bit more but it still turned out cute. I was happy with it and it's going to serve its purpose. This is like handmade not hallmark so we're going to uh, just carry on with that. So on that wood it dries really really fast and I love the paper on my table because look I just cleaned up my whole mess. It's all gone now. So I highly recommend having some paper down. Now I have these jumbo popsicle sticks and what I'm going to use this for is date night. So I'm going to write at the top of each one um, an amount. So whether it's 20, 50, 75, 100 dollars or all in. So what that means is I'm going to plan different date nights and I'm going to let my husband help me like decide what we're going to do and I'm going to write those at the bottom and at the top it'll give an amount so say we're like okay we only want to spend twenty dollars then there's going to be twenty dollar ideas at the bottom written in like maybe pizza and a movie like at home you can't get pizza and a movie for under twenty bucks out and um, that will be like our stay in date and then I also have like two or three that are called that I have all in on and those are for like this past year we went away for two or three three days two or three days for the first time we've ever like left our kids joint like jointly they were both went and it was really really nice and I would love to do that again so I am gonna make together collectively we're gonna come up with three ideas of fun things that we could do and that's not really gonna have a cost we'll just decide that once we plan where we're gonna go and I'm doing washi tape at the tops just to kind of make them a little pretty to like dress them up a little bit and then each amount, so I have 20, 50, 75, 100, and then all in. They all have their own color of washi, so it's just like visually pretty. And then on the side of the box, I put those colors in order, which one is 20, 50, 75, on and on. And then we'll know what we're looking for. I could have done a free one, I guess, but I thought, I don't know, I thought $20 was, a, was an okay price as like the least expensive because let's face it you can't do much for free anymore but the um, the 20 was I thought appropriate so I'm just gonna do all of these and my thoughts on this is with the stenciling is it's such a great idea if you have little kids you could cut out all the letters of the alphabet and you could give them those um, daubers and let them like daub their name on things or and like let them peel it up because you can peel this up off of canvas you can put it on um, cardstock I've put it on cardstock to do just like a little design up in the corner to see if it works and it does so you can put it on heavy cardstock you could make posters with it if you want to use paint and you don't have vinyl um, what else you could use it for a lot of things that's all I'm saying but yeah, so this is washi tape. I, like, I know I've had people say, what is washi tape? Washi tape is a really thin tape that is easily removable. Um, you can use it with planners and on paper. And I will link, um, I don't know if I'll be able to find these exact ones below, but I will link some cute washi below for you guys to check out. I get it from Illustrated Faith and from Michaels. And I've gotten it from Stampin' Up! as well. But I don't actually know if they still have it because it's been a long time. Okay, so I'm almost done with this and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the end because I have it all bagged up with cute ribbon on it for um, my husband for Valentine's Day because I really wanna do something fun. We kinda like, I think I t we talked about this in another video, I kinda like failed at Christmas. We didn't really do as much as we normally do and my kids really missed it. So Valentine's Day, we're doing big. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you learn about stencil vinyl and I hope you all enjoyed this. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.